Hello all, I've got loads of posts so I'm going to open it and call it post bag. Well anyway, let's start here with this one and it is these two of these 12 volt fans. Uh, these are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. Um, I was hoping they'd be about, I don't know, eight centimetres or something like that. And they're only hmm, five centimetres in diameter. But these are centrifugal fans. So it sucks air in here and then blows it out of this square hole on the end here. And the plan for this was an additional fan for my ant miner, which has fans for the hashing boards and the power supplies but it doesn't have a fan for the controller board, which appears to overheat. Now I was hoping to take this piece of uh, garden hose pipe and shove it in there, which I think is doable. Does that still turn? Yes, it does. Um, and then direct this uh, kind of close to the SOC, the system on a chip, which I think is the component that's getting hot. So let's get a 12 volt supply and power this up. Well, what I'm trying to find is a way of getting 12 volts from uh, my desktop 12 volt power supply. Ultimately, it's solar and batteries and stuff like that onto this two pin JST. So I found this. Let's plug 12 volts in. Uh, 4.8, 5.3 on the output. Now, if I twiddle that pot, I can probably get more than that. So let's do that. Right. Twiddle, twiddle. What will this go up to? Oh, that's going down. Why is it going down? Anti-clockwise for an increase in voltage. That's completely weird. 11.5, 11.6. What's coming in is 12.5, so that's not surprising. Let's put it just on the threshold in case by some peculiar incident the voltage outside suddenly shoots up. Right, that should do it. Let's plug uh, the fan into this output. So positives down the bottom here. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. Um, I'll just direct this. Yeah, oh yeah, that's quite a bit of airflow actually. That would probably do the trick. Yeah, I'll just direct that to the microphone. See if you can hear it on the microphone. I can't, but then I haven't played that back. Um, yes, I think that might even do at this size. I have found a bigger one. Um, okay, let's take a look at where I got this and possibly that bigger one too. So this is the item on eBay. It's uh, two pieces brushless DC 12 volt cooling fan blower turbo cooler for 3D printer. Um, £6.74 for two. And uh, what's the shipping? Oh, free shipping. Now these, I thought it said they were in China, but... Um, they came quickly and it now says they're in London. So yes, I got them immediately. They are out of stock. So let's have a look at the, the bigger one that I'm looking at on AliExpress. So this is the item I'm looking at on AliExpress. This is two pieces. Uh, it's a 12 volt. Actually, you can select different ones here. Uh, 7515, it's 75 millimeters by 15 thick. Uh, DC turbo centrifuge cooling blower fan this one is eight dollars 44 free shipping to the uk uh so i'm gonna place an order for that one oh sorry if that was very loud um go away and we'll see if that is uh, well a bit more powerful and puts out a bit more air well now on to the next item let's see what this is it is uh, heavily packaged, so I'll undo some of that. Right, this was described on the envelope as noise makers. There is only one noise maker. This is it. It's a big button which you press. Um, and there is a battery compartment, so I guess I should put some batteries in there. Those look like triple A's. Um, on the bottom here we've got microphone and record. So that looks like fun doesn't it? Let's have a play. 
Right, some batteries. Only got three of these left. Where do all my batteries go? I was just wondering actually whether there might be a secret message inside here. Well, let's find out. Hello. 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 <laughs> yes, there is. Somebody saying hello. Okay, let's do recording. Shut up, whoever you are. Shut up, whoever you are. Yes, well, that seems to work quite well. So my plan for this is to create a like button. Shut up, whoever you are. <laughs> okay, we well need to change that. So I want to do something with the word like in it, and I've got I've typed like into Google, and I've got like a circle in a spiral. Let's try that one. Like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel. I've got a feeling that's a bit too long, really, isn't it? Like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel. It's reasonably clear and it's reasonably loud. It's quite good, that. Like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel. I think I need to change that, shorten it a bit, perhaps. How about this? I like it, I like it. Yeah, that'll do. Now I've got to draw the like symbol on here. It's not going to be very good. Right, you can watch me draw this. Um, it's going to be not very good, I think. Okay, let's start with that. And then we come across and go up to the thumb. Oh, and then we come down. And then we've got the big finger and the fingers go back like that. And then we've got a thicker line there. Well, it's not very good, is it? But that's going to be my like button. You see, I've never done the, oh, please subscribe and press the like button and all that stuff, or smash the like button. Um, but, you know, maybe I should. Um, it might help, you never know. So I can bring that in on videos and go, I like it. hit the I like, like button. It. Hit the like button. So this item is recordable talking button, child interactive toy phonograph answers, buzzers, portable recording sound button, party noise makers. Uh, quite cheap actually, $3.54. Oh, shipping was 63 cents. And I mean, you can get all these different colors and yeah, you can record whatever sound in it you want. This came from BJH Naughty Pet Store on AliExpress. Let's move on to another one. Where's my microphone? It's there. That should be fine. Okay, let's open this one. And, oh, it's a USB. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Type A to Type C, which is hidden under there. Uh, charging cable. Another one I had some recently. Get rid of that. Well, let's see what it does. Right, phone here. It is actually at 100%, so I'm not sure whether this will do anything. But we'll, ooh. Ooh, that doesn't feel very good at all. Let's try it the other way around. That's very tight, and I don't really want to put a bad connector in my phone in case it damages the connector in my phone. Uh, let's plug that in. And uh, this is what it does. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, you can a bit. You can see movement. It lights up and there's movement, which is quite fun. Now, is this LED or is this electroluminescent? I don't know, but that's quite entertaining. I've got a feeling it might be LED, but there's a definite sense of a very rapid movement down the cable. How would you achieve that with LED? I suppose if there were, say, several LEDs and you switch between them, you could achieve something. It actually looks quite good. Yeah, the effect you're seeing there on the camera is pretty much what I'm seeing in real life, although it's possibly a bit brighter to my to mine eye. No, no, that's about it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So how does this work? Um, only one way to find out, and that's to take it apart, but obviously I'll do that in another video. Oh, well, plugging it into my phone was completely, oh no, it wasn't unnecessary. It was necessary because that's now stopped operating. It was working for a while, but I think that was because the power bank could see a load and now it can't. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm trying to work out how it works. Um, 
could there be as few as two light pipes and it's simply alternating between them or does it have to be three possibly I don't know yeah maybe it has to be three to get a sense of movement but that appears to be what it is just LEDs and light pipes uh, it's obviously driven from this end but uh, that's quite a nice effect okay let's take a look at it on I think this one is Ali so this is a 3 amp uh, glowing cable micro USB it's not micro USB oh it's USB type C you can probably get different types fast charging cable for various different phones LED light charger flowing streamer USB cord there are various colors here multi red green and blue ah yes I wonder whether there are three LEDs and in the blue one they're all blue and in the multi one they're uh, three different colors I suspect that's how it works one meter uh, type C was the one I got you can get two meters as well also for iPhone which I assume is lightning two dollars forty seven <laughs> that's ridiculously cheap with free shipping and this came from JH top 3c global store on AliExpress right last one is this this is a bit more expensive I think uh, again <coughs> I think it came from AliExpress and it is this Avato and it is a radiator thermostat Now I'm not even sure whether I've got a suitable radiator for this but I was just intrigued as to how this thing would work um, it's Toya Toya smart life compatible oh that's a clicky button that's interesting um plus minus that looks like oh no that might be a release thing oh it is a release thing uh oh there's uh seven segment displays can you see that i can't see whether you can see it i can see it um made up of little dots oh and battery compartment here two double A's I think for that I could get some batteries and put them in or shall I leave the excitement of this one um, to the teardown video I suspect the way this works is that um, it simply pushes that little pin there out and in under sort of motorized control but it's a uh, Toya um, uh, smart life compatible in that you can remotely control this from an app on your phone just wanted to see what was in here there's a bag of some plastic bits presumably for different types of radiator this is a semi-translucent uh, can I show that yeah it's kind of letting the light through there um, cover for this thing so that when that goes on there uh, you can see the digits through the cover here um, yes that's quite a nice piece of kit uh, like I say I don't know that I've got a thermostatically controlled radiator in this house because all the radiators in this house use an older um, uh, adapter an older thread and uh, so this probably wouldn't fit them anyway we've got one radiator that uses the new thread which I had to replace and had to change the uh, the two cutoff valves so it might work on there but I probably have to buy a different valve one that is controllable by thermostatic uh, radiator valves interesting let's look at this on Ali so this is the item on AliExpress um, it's a Toya Zigbee yeah this one is Zigbee that's right thermostat radiator actuator uh, support Alexa Google Home etc a bit more expensive this one $22.27 might be difficult to make a profit on this video we shall see uh, what's free shipping though and this came from the Ondo official store on AliExpress and of course I'll put links to all the items I've shown in the description below the video and so these are today's post bag items uh, hit the like button Hi. Uh, hit the subscribe button and all that stuff and uh, thank you very much to all the people that support my channel that includes JLC PCB and also of course my patrons thank you to you lot something fell on the floor didn't it cheerio